I uh, would therefore uh, call upon uh, the Honourable Premier uh, to, uh, to uh, make some remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. On, um, on some other day, or on a diff another day, I would be happy for an occasion uh, to rise in the House and shower a member with praise. Uh, today, I uh, wish with all my heart that there was no need to do such a thing. I'm deeply saddened by the loss of Manmeet Bular. We have all lost a dear friend to a tragic accident, and we can only pay him the tribute he so richly deserves in his absence. Today, we remember our colleague, the late member for Calgary Greenway. I count myself lucky in that I had the pleasure of his acquaintance for seven years. He and I both became MLAs in the same election as part of the class of 2008. He was a lot younger than me. He was just 28, the youngest MLA ever elected at that time, and he already had an impressive history of public service behind him. He'd organized a youth group in Calgary. He'd volunteered generously to raise money for community and youth causes. His community leadership had attracted recognition that led to his receiving the Alberta Centennial Medal the Centennial Medallion and the Athabasca University Leadership Award. And he came to public life with the determination to do even more for his community. As new MLAs, we had a lot to learn about this legislature, about our new responsibilities, and about each other. And it wasn't long before I grew to appreciate his good humor, his sense of duty, his sharp intelligence, and his powerful compassion fueled by his faith. He served the people of Calgary Greenway and all Albertans as an MLA and as a Minister of the Crown, always with the utmost integrity and dedication. Clearly, he was always meant to accomplish great work. As Minister for Service Alberta, he acted to protect Albertans from unscrupul unscrupulous contractors while homeowners were rebuilding after the southern Alberta floods. That protection went as far as laying charges. His special passion was advocating for the vulnerable in our province, especially children. That passion found its expression when he became Minister of Human Services, responsible for children in care. He led the move to greater transparency in reporting on fatalities of children in care. He led it with an unprecedented openness, born, I believe, out of a confidence that he felt that it was simply the right thing to do. And whether in government or in opposition, Manmeet was accessible, authentic, committed, and very capable. He had a special place in his big heart for people trying to escape discrimination and threats of violence and death, especially for, for practicing their religion and their faiths. He learned of the discrimination firsthand on a recent overseas trip and urged the federal government of the day to lift restrictions under Canada's private sponsorship program for refugees. Just two weeks ago, he spoke passionately at the legislature on issues of human rights in Pakistan, India, and Afghanistan. Manmeet was also very gracious. And just last week, as we ended our estimates, estimates debate with Executive Council, he offered up his very generous and personal praise of and directly to public officials for the work that they do both now and when they worked with him. He saw the good in everyone around him. And when confronted with hurt, his first instinct was to do whatever he could to put it right. It was typical of the member for Calgary Greenway that he would stop to help someone in need, stepping from the warmth of his vehicle into the midst of a heavy snowstorm. For him, there was no other way to live. He thought of others before himself. With his energy and his youth and his passion, I truly expected to see man meet in public life for decades to come. And I believe without question that Albertans are worse for the fact that we will not. My thoughts continue to be with his family, his friends, and his colleagues. A family has lost a son and a husband. Calgary Greenway has lost a champion. Albertans have lost a strong voice. The Progressive Conservative Caucus has lost a loyal member. And this House has lost a colleague, a good and a decent man. His passing is a reminder that the members of this House are a family, despite the differences between us and the disagreements they sometimes provoke. And we will do what every family does when it loses a loved one. We will grieve together. We will draw strength from one another. We will help each other to heal. 
and most of all, we will never forget the person we lost, the member from Calgary Greenway, Mamie Bullock.